All right, folks, we are back with another illustrious episode of the Back in the Podcast. This time we are doing the spoiler, 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 spoiler review of the Batman, Matt Reeves' Batman, all right? He puts his name in front of it to let y'all know he ain't with that other shit. This is Matt Reeves' version of the Batman. We are here to blow those spoiler doors open. Let's do it. Bruce Wayne is a cokehead. Fucking crackhead, man. What the fuck? He's doing coke, yeah. He's definitely doing booger sugar. He's just... <laughs> Yo, how is he staying up so many nights in a row? What's wrong with this guy? He's on coke. That's why he's so pale. Did you see when he hit the adrenaline? I was like, yo, this guy just wants to be Bane. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know, man. I keep getting incel vibes from this Batman. Like, this, ba- <laughs> this Batman might say the N word from time to time. Like, you yeah. niggas! <laughs> like, <laughs> he's been beating up Puerto Ricans and black people in the beginning of this movie. This, like, this Batman <laughs> says the N word. I feel he's it. He's just going to the block and beating people up in the Bronx, basically. He's going from Manhattan to Upper Harlem and the Bronx. <laughs> That's basically what he was doing in this. <laughs> he's just beating up people are like we're trying to raise money for our center you about to catch these hands yo just donate to a school or a program bro like what the fuck donate these damn hands <laughs> yeah he just wants to practice beating ass and he loves some black bad, women man you saw the way he was looking at that new mirror he's like i'm finna help <laughs> he was he was he <laughs> like, with the ass. He like shit i'm finna help now shit. zoe and jane both of them Bella and uh, Selena, he was on both of them. Boy, he yep he he wanted he wanted both of their cats. <laughs> Even now. had a soft spot for James, Gordon. He does, man. I, <laughs> yo, What's like, yo? That's, that's the black father he always wanted, man. You <laughs> yeah. See that? yeah. Like, he's like he's like all right, pops. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Yeah. That scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was so seventies, like detective noir style type of thing, man. I love that. I don't think people realize that this is like a detective noir style movie. First yeah, and foremost. it's going over their head, man. They just want yeah. like action nonstop. No, yeah, no they, they don't want the work. foreplay no more. They they just want to bust the nut. They don't want to actually stroke the poom poom. You know what I mean? They just want to they just want to walk in the theater and Amateurs. bust their nut. <laughs> like Amateurs. The people complaining about too much. Like, do you realize the Riddler was making those riddles simple enough? to make Batman think that he was doing something, but to actually navigate Batman to do what he wanted to do. Yep. Like, like he was that just doing that. Yeah, he's like, like I'm making... too weak for that shit. He's like, hey, bro, look at me. <laughs> yeah, he was just making it smart enough for Batman to think he was cross-sending the, the whole puzzles. And then he, so he could do what the Riddler wanted him to do. But he was so smart, he didn't realize that the Batman and Bruce Wayne were the same guy. I'd love that scene because Bruce Wayne gave him nothing in the jail cell. That takes such great discipline. That's one of the greatest like things that Batman has is discipline. When his like back is against the wall, when he was like, Bruce Wayne. Everybody in the theater was laughing because you know what? All of them don't have the discipline. Everybody would have been like, all right, you got me, bro. <laughs> what do you want from me, man? <laughs> Yeah, I'm Bruce, so what? They, but he didn't crack. He just stood there in the shadows and just kept character as Batman. I think that was a moment where he's like, man, I've really been fucking up out here in these streets. I have the same demeanor everywhere I go. They're catching on to me. I think that's he's the growing. moment where it clicked where he's like, maybe I need to make Bruce so drastically different from Batman yeah. Yeah. that they won't put two and two together. I think that's the moment right there. He's like, yeah. Oh, this shit got too close right here. They too close, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because when he was looking at the papers on the wall, he was like, damn, he got me. Because he was telling well, Gordon, he was like, you're a good cop, man. Like, he knew it was done. He It was done for him. He was like, you're a good cop. You're you're honestly a good person. And then he went to talk to dude, and he thought he had him. But he just held his poker hand just a little longer. He thought he, he was about to get canceled, just man. Mess up. Yeah, he just let him. let it. If he, if he just went, like, reacted, then it, dude would have been like, gotcha. You, you are him, you know. So it was. You done know, you know what's going to defeat this perfect. Batman? Cancel culture. They're going to find some old tweets from Bruce, <laughs> asking where the hose is at. <laughs> no, it's perfect because <laughs> that's what's going to defeat Batman. Old tweets. Because well, like what happened with the explosion with Alfred that made Bruce Wayne. Everybody think Bruce Wayne just left the city, so that left him to be Batman full time. So it was kind of like. You know, council culture in part two would be perfect if 
let's say Two Face for is the next big villain, which I'm hoping either Two Face or Hush, or Two Face Hush or the the Owls, some sort of if it's an Arkham movie, boss. Yeah, but if they introduce the owls in the in the background, but don't make it the, make it the third, but this one is like a two face hush type of thing, I think that'd be genius if they could pull that out. But um, yeah, if he disappears because of cancel culture, that's his physical image, so he has to evolve the Bruce Wayne character in the second one. I think that'd be a dope. Uh, yeah, concept. He, he he definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I was gonna yeah. add that um, there's a scene where um, the Riddler's like showing stuff on the screen and they show the word hush. Yeah, I, like, I got it. So I was like, oh shit, are they gonna go there? That's and they're like, no, 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 we're not going <laughs> yeah, too there. early, <laughs> man. Too early. They did show us the Joker, though. Ah, uh, I didn't like that. I, I, I felt like it was too soon. I felt it felt cheap. It too. felt cheap. It felt like they just did it like 10 minutes before throwing the movie to the to WB. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just throw this stuff on. We won't really show your face. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't really work for me. Like I, I saw it. And I was like, this is a little cheesy. Afterthought, you know, in afterthought. While yeah, it the felt. Theater. It felt a little CW ish to me. Yeah, because <laughs> I was like, nah. Like, at least get Joaquin. Like, because like for me personally, I can't compare this to like the Dark Knight or you know the set the other uh, Batman movies. I can only like compare this to the intro Batman movies, like Batman eighty nine or uh, Batman Begins. And I honestly think it's better than Batman Begins. And it's Batman 89. I look back at it with rose colored glasses, but it's better than that too. But where Batman Begins beat it was with the bat, with the Joker card reveal, where they're like, this guy's causing a muck in the city. And they show the Joker card. That was an ill way to show him. This way was like, nah, man. This should have been hush. It should have been like a guy who had like, you know, surgeries, like, like he was in between surgery or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, Joker was too man. soon. Like, work. cause I'm like, so you're telling me year one he beat up Joker and put her and put him in jail. Yeah, this Batman, this sloppy Batman with one batarang, took out the Joker and put him in jail. Year one, and it kind of and it kind of hurts yeah. the, it kind of hurts the, the kind of fan fantasy that the Joker movie and the Batman movie are connected in some way. You know what I mean? Because it's called the Joker the batman and if you look at robert patterson's batman when he's bruce wayne in the bat bat area with his shirt off and stuff and he's doing those things with his back and you can see like his back muscles like they're broken angel bat wings you know what i mean like he seemed very similar to the joker like the body language was very very similar they're, the they're both crazy character. too because they they, they make they're, time to let you know that his mom was a psycho. Like she was mentally ill. That was heartbreaking, but it was like amazing part of the story. That was like, that blew me away. Cause it shows that he's, you know, it could be a little off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he had to realize that he, he had to internally, not only take that his family's not this perfect family. Like he imagined and saw them as when he was a kid, but they're corrupt also. And they're kind of they kind of have mental issues you know he found out his family's just like everybody, everybody else's family <laughs> you know? Casey, what, one thing i want to add you know what this movie really pulls heavily from that a lot of people didn't mention the telltale batman game yeah exactly it pulls damn near direct from that story with the uh wayne family being corrupt yeah. even some of the ways some of the swag that that uh penguin has in that game is similar to how he carries himself in this movie as well yeah I thought they were going to go with the skinny um, penguin like they did from that game. Mm. So I was surprised to see Colin Farrell with all the makeup on his face. I like the way they, I couldn't even see Colin Farrell. I was trying to. I, was I saw like Robert De Niro. Like I, like, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, because you're like, oh, what do you mean? Oh, he was a little, he was the campy one in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, yep. the, yeah, the loud, vibrant, kind of old school character to me but it worked though it held that balance because this was not a funny movie very much you know so no it was good to have him be that more animated version of a person so it was cool what about catwoman calling out batman and basically the waynes and their white privilege i was just like tell him yeah that's great that was great it was it was great it was a great twist that he she was uh carmine's daughter too yeah, that's from the long Halloween. I think they pulled that. Yeah, from. that was an amazing twist, man. Now, did the Falcone? Do you believe that he killed Batman's parents, or is it just coincidence that maybe they got shot in the alley that day? Because a coincidence, I don't. I don't know. I think it's good that they left it open still, because that's the 
if we got that answer, if, if uh, Bruce Wayne got that complete solidified answer in this, then it would have kind of solidified this movie. But at a, a part of me kind of wanted this to be just a one-off movie. But clearly they're trying to, you know, make a trilogy out of it. Yep. But I was like, yo, if they had the balls to just make this a three and a half hour movie and it's a one shot thing where let's say they give Alfred a little bit more camera time. And from the book, he's a retired like army vet. Yeah. He teaches yeah, Bruce Wayne how to much. fight. He teaches Bruce Wayne, you know, he, he sees that Bruce Wayne's kind of going on a path where he's just wanting to do car racing and shit like that. But he kind of nurtures him out of that. And he he kind of pushes him to the detective stuff because he thinks it's going to make him want to be a cop or a detective. It turns out he goes driving forward to be a <laughs> like, like, nah, bro, I got a <laughs> vigilante. <you. laughs> yes. <laughs> but he's he's like nurturing those things. You know, he's like, oh, I can make a call to the a cop I know who could help you find for your gum that you're looking up. You know, and he's, he thinks it's this gum, but it turns out to be like a whole bigger thing. Right. So that's what's really cool about Alfred. And I wish in the movie they killed this Alfred. I wish they just finalized it and made it one movie where he has nobody else except for the, the woman character who they didn't give him enough camera time, but she was in, I believe, the original 60s show. But um, yeah, they kind of make her more of the person at the house. And this Alfred was kind of like jo- um, Jeffrey from um, the new Fresh Prince where he's not really like cleaning, like he's just the head yeah. of the cleaning staff, but he don't exactly. really do the cleaning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He just makes breakfast and he's more of a parental figure. I don't even think he makes the breakfast. He has a staff to do that. He's <laughs> yeah. just like, all right, guys, it's breakfast time. Make sure Bruce has his breakfast. I'll, I'll yeah. be watching TV. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But no, in the in the book, they do an amazing job with Alfred's character. And I, I just wish they fleshed that out more in the uh, movie. And I wish they had the balls to just make this a one-off. That's why I kind of, that's my that. little nitpicky stuff. Yeah, when like the money, money is so hot, Casey, why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the exactly. money's so good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go for a trilogy. Try to introduce some more people too. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's that that way they could do. There's they left a lot of room for spinoffs. Catwoman left town. She could have her own series and grow and have a costume and all this stuff by the time she comes back. Um, Penguin is going to be interesting, like you said, seeing him rise to yeah. the. Uh, the, the crime mob boss that he is so that'll be yeah bring in mr freeze because he back he uh pressures him into having to do something to try to get his wife back you know he's like yo i'll turn this machine off on you you know like that brings in mr freeze that brings you think in all they're gonna bring characters. fantastical like elements to this batman or just keep everything grounded i like fantastical elements in batman because it's just it's crazy to see somebody with no powers go against you know something he has no business doing and that's that's what's so special about Batman. This yeah. uh, third the third act got fantastical. So I about can see the, it going the fantastical. Rise, rises? No, this third act in this movie when the um when they basically like baptize when Riddler baptized the streets of Gotham, <laughs> like, you know, with the water. It's not too weird. Like you could do that. <laughs> no, I know, but when Batman started flying and he did a flip into the fog, a sideways flip that tripped two people, and then he got he landed on his feet. And kicked another guy and grabbed his gun and then hit two other people up. You know how much like <laughs> that was fantastical, but they did it in a dope way. So I hope they do more of that. You know, like it, that reminded me I'm of Batman like, 89. I'm talking like a dude flying in the sky, talking about I want beef with Bat. Like, like they're saying Superman's <laughs> not going to be here, but I'm just saying like hmm. people with like supernatural stuff, like maybe not, not, not Scarecrow, maybe yeah. Roz. Like Roz Al Ghul actually like having a Lazarus pit. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know if I want that for this uh, trilogy. I, I want that. I, I'm sick of this. Gr- Life is already grounded, man. Put, throw some weird shit in there, man. Yeah, but nah. This one. This one's something different. But they did Let that, that already with one. Nolan. So I'm just like, what's the difference? He's a detective this time. <laughs> like, what's <laughs> my the- thing is they're zeroing in on what makes the Batman so interesting. So if it, it doesn't have to be the fantastical stuff where it's like, please chill out, you know, yeah, no, be, yeah. <laughs> you can go back and watch those. It doesn't have to be him jumping off, you know, the Empire State Building and landing in Tuscany. And, and by Bob fantastical, I mean, I mean, surreal, like stuff that won't happen in real life. Like Clayface is a surreal character, yeah, but he would be dope in the noir setting, like picture a serial killer with multiple personalities that changes different faces and just going around murdering people mm-hmm. in the noir setting. That would be dope. Him tracking down this murderer who's just shape-shifting. 
Yeah, I'm not. In, I'm, I'm just not saying, like, the they, I would love for like that type of yeah. thing to happen. If they could pull that off, that'd be amazing for sure. I'm for it too. Play face needs to happen in live action, man. That'd be amazing. And, and then hire seven different actors to play him. Like mm-hmm. one minute he's Johnny Depp, next minute he's some woman, next minute he changes <laughs> into somebody else. Like he's just constantly changing and killing people. How would you feel if it was the dude who played uh, Morpheus? If he was let that. Jared Leto be Clayface for one scene and then he switches yeah. pieces again. But I'm um, no, I'm saying Jared Leto just doing those extreme changes. Like he's no, Jared Leto. Jared Leto gets too much chances, man. The man's the Joker. <laughs> he's Morbius. He, he could be the guy from Gucci at first. You know that character he was acting as. I watched be... that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. 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 How could you do this to me? You ripped me off. <laughs> You watch that whole movie? I stopped. Oh, I, yeah. play. <laughs> I watched it in pieces. <laughs> I was watching it on the plane. And I was like, yo, is this man serious? Like, it was, it was like Super Mario. He was complete opposite of Penguin. Oh, man. But yeah, yeah. Jared Leto needs to stay the hell away from this series. <laughs> hey, it's a me. Hey, it's, it's a you. me. Oh. <laughs> Picture him as Penguin. He would have did too oh, much. Oh, Lord. I would have been like... He'd been like, I brought real penguins to the set so I could get in the character, and I lived in the igloo. I drank penguin oil and poured it on people after I drank it. Yeah, it was my piss, but I called it penguin oil. I put it in people's sets. I didn't bathe for a month because penguins don't bathe. I ran around naked in the Alaskan seas like a penguin. Like to get play ready a penguin. For the role. <laughs> yeah, no, he messed this whole movie up. Has a method actor ever died preparing for a role? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's what I was like, they, they don't talk the about most. the dude from. They don't talk about the dude from There Will Be Blood anymore. Where did he go? How, which one is that? The dude from There Will Be. You see, <laughs> the guy that played um Lincoln. Uh, yeah. Oh, he retired. He was doing too oh, much. Oh, did he? Yeah, they're like you need Sam, bro. <laughs> they made him retire, bro. You gonna die if you keep doing all this method acting. <laughs> He's a goner. They covered it up. Was it Lee Daniels or something like that was his name? I don't remember Elton his name. Daniels? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know the name. But... <laughs> he disappeared. They got rid of him. Like, no, yeah, not yeah. Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels is the black guy. Something Daniels is his name. Yeah. Uh, but yes, continue, Casey. I'm looking for this now. Where will be blood? Classic movie. This guy killed it, man. Daniel Day Lewis. All right. Yeah, Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, he's a wild boy. He had to retire. He was doing too much. <laughs> You're doing too much to your body doing that shit. Like Zoe Kravitz yeah. was drinking cat milk, like drinking mm. milk. I don't believe it. She should have showed us. You should have showed us. I know you got you got the set, you got the Ooh, show us with that scene. saxophone song on. <laughs> her drinking milk in slow mo. Now, now her friend that she was looking for was that her girlfriend or something like. Does it matter, here. Akil? It's 2022. It mattered to my dad. He wanted to know. It's 222. He, he said, hey, hey. <laughs> you got a ting and a ting. I was like, yeah. Cat woman got multiple tings. It is everywhere. She got a ting everywhere. <laughs> it's all over the place. Oh, you got a mine oh. and a ting there, too. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. No, nah, I, I have love no that, idea. I love that one scene where they go to the Iceberg Lounge and she has a the special contacts in and you see yeah. like just about every member of gcpd like <laughs> yeah nigga, we lit just party yeah. <laughs> just being hood just grimy grimy yeah. ass police you know bruce is like what are you they all go party and they didn't invite me <laughs> you know <laughs> just realizing everybody's partying without them yeah this this bruce needs to have a drastic change in the next movie new hair new everything you gotta cut that my chemical romance shit out man that hot topic Batman, he gonna for him to be the socialite mm. philanthropist in the future. Like he he got to switch it up. You can't. Yeah, they be... touched on it though. The mayor t- touched on it. Like yo, you we don't see you in the city. You're fa- you come from a family tree of uh, philanthropy, and you haven't done anything. And he was like, we'll have to talk more about that later. And then the whole car thing happened in the church. So... He's trying to sleep with her. That's all. He's like, I might <laughs> look t- like he... an incel, but I love the sisters. Yeah, they, they're gonna they're gonna touch on it more. I, I, you know what I didn't like when uh, I liked Peter uh, Sagard's character. He was like um, Skarsgård. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Uh, Peter Skarsgård character, the one that had the thing. Skarsgård. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. 
I, I liked his character, the way he acted. He did a great job, like just in that little role that he did. But I didn't like the explosion when it hit Batman. He was so close. That, that would have teared his whole face off. Like that guy's head should have blew off. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Man, like, that ex- flew backwards. Like it was a backwards dive. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, Batman's I dead. Like, nah. it's, this is real. But I'm, I mean, like, that's a little nitpicking. You know what I mean? Fine tooth combing it. But they padded the shit out of his suit. I was like, yo, that was leather. Ass. That was this nothing but leather. Big boy, my <laughs> yeah, that's just, big the football padding. <laughs> They padded this. Robert Patsy, you gotta lift some weights next time, man. I understand you were, using, you were using the excuse about oh, Batman's early, he's not gonna be muscular. Well, the next one you gotta you gotta do something, boss, because I wasn't believing him with every fight. I wasn't. True, true. I would didn't I was like, look at this incel, this bitch slapping people. In the book they covered his bases because they're like, oh, he works out just to get a physically lean but not to be a bodybuilder so that he can move quicker it's like what uh ufc fighters do they're not like bodybuilder looking but they're more lean so they could jab quick kick quick move back quick it's more of a martial arts look that they're going for i've seen batman kick a tree and it exploded (laughs) let's get there let's get there baby let's get there (laughs) ben affleck could kick a tree and make it explode (laughs) <laughs> that Batman was jacked and drinking. He was drinking every minute. He was drunk. Dumb as shit. Dumb as dumb as shit. <laughs> waking up to w- waking up to two women in his bed. He would murder I'm a, people. I'm a rich man. I'm a rich man. What's your power? I'm rich. <laughs> White power. <laughs> this Batman's an incel. Man. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is all like uh, a lot of them are those teeny bopper actors. Though it's good to see them all rise up to the mature roles though that's pretty yeah cool. robert Pat- patson's been doing good stuff i told you to check out good time i'm gonna check Netflix. that out now i'm, yeah, I'm sure not sold, i'll tell you that shit dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch i already it. forgot I'll the name after after. <laughs> i forgot the name after it came out of your mouth <laughs> <laughs> i'll Go definitely go watch shit. that right after the podcast Is that the black and white one that he's in that that no, one? that one's wild though. Lighthouse. I ain't watching that either. <laughs> that shit's crazy. I don't watch that. I, I saw one scene. He grabbed like a, it was like a pigeon or seagull. He was just bashing that shit against a, nah, the stone. It's him and William Defoe in that movie. You know oh, William Lord. Defoe is a crazy man. And then Robert Pattinson's playing a crazy man in that movie, and they're just <laughs> playing off of each other's madness. Oh, and who could and who could be the bigger madman in the movie? It's madness. What would you want to see William Defoe do in, in this movie? Who would you like him to play? He would have been a dope older Joker. Yeah, for sure. The old but if he's not the Joker, who else? You know what I mean? I'm just thinking uh, about it. Right Mad now. Hatter. He'd be a cool Mad oh, Hatter. Oh, forgot about the Mad Hatter. Look at that. Look at me throwing in some, uh, you know, yeah, some good stuff there. That's a good yeah, one. He would yeah. be a, a dope Mad Hatter. What else that they could pull from the rogues? So down? imagine the show comes out, Penguin fleshes out the world more, and then they do another movie. Where we have all these different bosses in different areas of Gotham, and like Batman gets stuck in Arkham Asylum for a bit. They gotta bring like, in Robin. Nah, were, too soon. They were, they were like he needs help. They're they're mentioning <laughs> that he needs help. He got Alfred, man. He was staring at that kid. It wasn't lovingly. Yeah, I know like, he wanted to recruit him. He's like, I need a child worker to work for free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looked at him that's, like he wanted to hire him. That's to the make CEO his suits. in him, man. He wanted him to sew up those suits. He's like, like, shit, I need some child labor, man. Looking at all the kids wrong. I didn't like the way he was looking at the kids. Looking at them a little too long. Man, he's looking for child labor, man. He's like, yo. I don't know what he's looking for. He's like, they can work for free. I can adopt them. That was not vengeance he was looking for. He's like, shit, they'll be happy just to have a roof over their head. Then I'm going to teach them about some guerrilla warfare. And when I don't feel like patrolling, I'll send them little niggas out. A it's a win-win. <laughs> he just wants to put them in a bright suit so they can be a distraction so he can get the... the yeah, the you wear bright red and green. I'm going to wear all black and hide in these shadows. Now, I hope you get that dodging. <laughs> yeah. That's See why you're on the come up, son. Just push him he's off. like, that boy flipping and dipping. He could dodge a budget, bullet. Let me go <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's throw him on the squad. Yeah. No, but this is dope that he uh, evolves from vengeance to hope. He's no longer just that one note. And it's dope the way that his character like created the Riddler and then the Riddler created all these little minion guys and like Batman's like realizing well, this whole I, thing that he's doing hole, Casey. has created the whole problem that he has now. Wouldn't, wouldn't those guys also be inspired by the quote unquote Joker since he exists 
and he allegedly ran, ran the muck of Gotham for him to be in Arkham already. So when you have seen him on TV as well, and he have been your inspiration other yeah. than just Batman, because Joker is inspired by Batman, but the Riddler is also inspired by Batman. But in this yeah, world, it's more evident. But in this Riddler. world, the Joker came first, and he's already in jail. So you know you saw him on TV, and you're probably like, yo, I like his swag. But I could do more mayhem than him. Let me go get my costume sewed up. They shouldn't have had. They shouldn't have had the Joker. They shouldn't have had Joker in there. It should have been like just let us assume the Joker from the eighties or late seventies, eighties. That guy is the dude who sparked those guys' look. You know what I mean? In now time, still, like that's gang shit. If you got that look, you know what I mean? Like, ah oh, man, they would have just had somebody more mind, or just had somebody laugh in the cell and not show anything. They could save that. That could they be the final the movie. man and everything. They showed the hair. Yeah. So then it kind of kills the whole wonder of like, yo, we know he's out there, but they don't know yet. You know, so it kind of like he could have still been just the guy with the red hood who's trying to teeth something out. Like, I don't know. They, I, I feel like that was a big bad yeah, it was move. A it was definitely it's a like misstep. WB was like, yo, you got to do a trilogy. And he was like, I didn't really write a trilogy. Well, they gotta do something, you know. He's like, they're probably like, nigga, do you like money? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Like he just wrote this one movie, and then they want him to add in all this extra stuff, like hush, just putting hush in the big screen. Like, nah, they had something special. Because I want to know who Arkham is. Who is Arkham? Because Arkham was one of the big families. Because that's like could be connected to the Owls. Telltale game. That was in the the Telltale game, the first one. Yeah, but that could be connected to the Owls. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So like they had something cool when they were like the Arkham family, the Wayne family, when they were just talking about that in the news, they could have just left it like that and even just show the hush thing. And they would be like, oh, my God, like this is where they might go with it. But now it's like they showed the big card and it's like, so what right. was the Riddler's problem? Like, what was his dad, the reporter that got killed? No, the Riddler's problem was he never his whole life. He was an orphan like Batman, like Bruce Wayne, him and Bruce Wayne were like the same thing. Even in the beginning of the movie, you see the the parallel between the both of them looking at people from the um like psychopaths you can hear them breathing and just hear see them looking like they're both the same like they're but just bruce wayne has that one little childhood where he had happy moments and he remembers his family and gotham as this dreamy place but really you know enigma is the guy who didn't see it like that the whole time he saw bruce wayne as like this figure who was a spoiled brat but bruce wayne saw it like oh gotham could be something so much better but it's it's his imagination. Got some work saving. That's why I was hell no. I was like <laughs> hell no. I was like they don't respect you. <laughs> nah, man, move to where Superman from? Uh, Metropolis. Yeah, man, just move there, man. Bruce just or, or what's it there. called? Bloodhaven. Bloodhaven's where um Nightwing ends up moving because oh, okay. that woman was talking about going to Bloodhaven. So. And that'd be dope if she did. And we see. I Thunder just want Day. Nightwing, man. You know Nightwing's that's, my favorite. Yeah, I hear you, but that's so far away now. I know. Like, That'll be at the end of part three. Why can't like, they just do a standalone Nightwing, not connected to anything? I He's know. Starting I off brand new in Bloodhaven. Yeah, we're not getting that for another ten years, bro. I know. God, they're gonna run Bat- They've been running Batman out on the streets with one high heel. They gonna kill this Batman before so they long. give us Nightwing. They've been pimping Batman out for so long out in those streets, man. Then streets you see the shadows. That's where Batman's getting pops. <laughs> But I don't want to. Ah, (laughs) We need more. We need more. And this is not a kids movie. Let's let's make that clear. This is not a kids movie. No, no, no. I would not let a kid see this. And like they have toys, and my son was like, "I want to see this." I said, "Oh, the hell, you not?" That's why they shouldn't have played it safe. They should just made a rated R, three and a half hour movie, just one off, just a one off. Because it's not a kids' movie, it's too dark. Even the scenes with the Riddler, he creepy as hell. Like, that's not yeah, the beginning kids. opening scene that was amazing. That was chilling. I, when he just the dude, the mayor moved out the way, and you see him, I'm like, oh shit! And yep. then he pulls the tape. I was like, oh fuck! And he beats him with the um the rug cover, like he's covering everything under the rug. Like well, that man was, was bleeding was out, and then you suffocate him with duct tape. Yeah, man, Wild, he's dope. Son. Yeah, yeah. And, and then the you take his thumb off him. and write a note with it. Wild, <laughs> yeah, man. That's like just show it at that point. Yeah. Just show it, just call it rated R, make it a one off movie. Don't go for the money and all this. bullshit Just make an amazing story and call it a day. Now they're talking, Red- Riddler had that Joker school shooter look just like Batman, too. They were both the same. They're he was right looking up to him, 
it's just that Batman was like, holy shit, nah, I'm I'm doing it for this reason. I'm I'm doing it for what you're doing it for. You know, that's Bruce. Like 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 he was like, yo, you're a monster. He was like he was like to the Batman to the Riddler was like, you're a monster. And Riddler was heartbroken. He was like, what are you talking about? I'm a monster. I got inspired by you. Brunch. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Yeah, you changed my life. Let's go kill Bruce. What's going on? You know what I mean? He was flabbergasted. He was like, "What the hell is going when on?" When he was here? saying Bruce, though, Casey, like I felt like he was like Bruce, like, like, wink, wink, like, huh? Is this? Are you gonna reveal yourself? I think he was, That's, but he I didn't get he nothing. So he just that. his mind it moves so quick. He when he didn't see any read from from Bruce and Batman in that moment, he was just like, "I almost got him," but. He's the one guy who got away, you know, but he just stuck with that. He was like, this guy can't be Bruce. I know Bruce. I grew up with this spoiled bastard. Like, though, in the book, he, he like, hates Bruce this whole time. Anytime he sees him, he's like, oh, all the rich kids go and race their cars. Oh, look who it is. Bruce racing his rich boy car. You know, like, he always, <laughs> so he's like, there's no way <laughs> Bruce Wayne could be fighting for the poor people. You know, like, there's no way he could be the Batman. He's the complete opposite. He's the guy. He's the sign of what we want to kill. Why would he be the bad man? He's the leader of that shit. Here's a good analogy. Yeah. It's like Jake Paul becoming a vigilante and saving the day. Nah, I don't know. Man. And no, nobody know will Jake ever. Jake Paul like that. Well, huh? Jake Paul's saving the day for boxing and UFC. We can no, see, we'll see that later. No, okay, no, <laughs> Logan Paul. It's like Logan Paul being a vigilante. Both them, man, because those guys aren't being, the fighters aren't getting paid what they deserve. These guys are calling out all these boxing federations and UFC. They're saying, yo, you guys aren't getting what you deserve. Well, you think you think Jake Paul out here, he's going to suit up and save the day? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but nah, Jake like, from State Farm will save the day faster than Jake Paul. Yeah. But for, for, the, for the twist that I, we're talking about where he said the thing with the Bruce part, it would have been more impactful if people had read the book before. Because then you would know that Bruce is the last person the Riddler would think batman is <laughs> like you get what i'm saying yeah yeah Riddler would never have thought but watching the movie you'd be like he got him he got him but i was watching it, i was like there's no way he thinks it's bruce still you know and then he was doing the the bruce thing and i'm like does he really think it's bruce there's no way and then he didn't really think it was bruce. i was like that makes okay so the book came together with the movie in a great way for me because i was like there's no way this guy would think that <laughs> you know what i mean no, I'm, just, I'm thinking over. I'm brainstorming. Who's the least likely yeah, yeah. person that would be a superhero that got? Him? Oh, in real life, Jermaine Dupree, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, clean, cleaning up the streets of Atlanta. Not the nobody. Jermaine ain't catching the stray. <laughs> Jermaine's out here chilling. Jermaine, with you the think vision. he's chilling in the Shout club? Shout out to Division, Ajax, Pickering, stand up. But he's but yeah. fighting crime, bro. Jermaine out here fighting crime, bro. <laughs> What if Michael Jackson was a vigilante? That's why they kept coming after him, saying that he had these kids. What if he was trying to build his own Robin and Bat family? And That's they pretty stopped. much probably what he was trying to do. <laughs> that was trying. That was Michael Jackson was trying to do, and they stopped him. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson was a real life Batman, boss. Jeez. Y'all ain't see the vision. That's what that's what R. Kelly was trying to do when he was recruiting. Oh, don't even do it. Hey, okay, okay, <laughs> no, okay. No, okay. <laughs> Kelly's right. like, see, you see, I was trying to, I was trying to start my own bat family. <laughs> he even had the cowl over his eyes. You he know had the, mean? yo, he was trying to do it, and y'all stopped him, oh, man. He was no. trying to clean up Chicago. He was gonna oh, stop back the crime. Oh, back at now. He was trying to stop the crime in Chicago, and y'all stopped him, man. <laughs> mm. Damn. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know who would be that guy. I don't know. I don't know who's the least likely person. Yeah. That would be out here. Paul Rudd. Crazy. Paul Rudd. Paul, Paul, Rudd. <laughs> Paul Rudd is saving the day. Yeah. Was there anything else that stood out to you? I love the way that the color scheme went from rage red to the blues and then it went to the sun sunrising orange. Yeah. The red That was orange. dope. Like the the even the song, the the theme song was going in a tone and then it went to the tone of the um song that the riddler and bruce wayne were singing as a little kid that um oh maria whatever song oh it yeah. went into that song like it was blended with that song the whole time yo and he loved that song that director it. he kept playing it over and over oh yeah. maria. it didn't yeah, matter yeah. what was going on you might be clapping cheeks or you might be getting <laughs> murdered but they're gonna play that song because he likes it 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, he loved that song. He loved that Alfred, damn song. Man, I wish they gave Alfred some more camera time so that we could see what he did in the book in the movie. So you didn't get them the dirty. Book. They, they did do them. Do- you don't think they, they treated them, them like a black person in a scary movie? You either kill them <laughs> or you get them injured and you put them in the hospital bed. Yeah. For the rest of the film. That's Poor guy it. wakes up out of his bed, out of his slumber, to to Bruce being like, "You lied to me." Like not even a. I'm glad Live, to see you you're alive. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lied to me, bro. I was like, Yo, I'm about Bruce, to go in this Intel chat room and release <laughs> all my rage. <laughs> I was like, Bruce, what is wrong with you? You heartless bastard. The guy didn't know. He's a, you know, like, why are you on this dude like this? That part was heartless. Yep. All right, folks. I think that's it for our spoiler review. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I touched on everything. Hopefully we get a full ba- um, Catwoman costume because you can't be fighting crime with a ski mask on all the time. She was doing her thing, though, when she hopped out the um, out of her condo. Out of her apartment and jump down oh the yeah pipe and all that stuff that was zoe dope. kravis ain't do that shit. shouts to the uh stunt woman <laughs> that did that move she did a great job shout, shout out to, to robert pattinson stunt man because i know his ass was in fighting shout out to the the person riding the motorcycle yeah he busted one, one gripe i had i wanted a suit upgrade throughout the film like i wanted him to be like oh, no, all right man, i got it went too much too quick it's the first movie he had the tinker he and tinker with shit with his suit this man had one batarang one grappling hook and them big clunky ass boots and you just he hear got him, it at a thrift store <laughs> that he got that goodwill <laughs> that he sewed together batman needs to get with lucius fox and get his 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 tech up because his tech is not that good right now. I think they should make a cartoon movie of the book because it shows how he goes to get the boots at a thrift store and he puts on a hat and glasses and a hoodie and he's walking around in the night like grabbing people behind their back like just grabbing like what are you doing you know but he doesn't have a costume on yet and he's just scaring people getting answers and shit like that like I think that'd be dope as a new I know they already have the year one cartoon but like a remake of in this tone in this energy just to better articulate what the hell happened in this movie and raise it. You know what they'll do? They'll be like, oh, you want those information? $60 and we'll give you a video game. <laughs> Probably. With the same mechanics of Arkham Asylum. Yep. Yeah, I don't see why not. I, I ain't mad at that. I'll, I'll be fine with it either. No. Yeah, that ain't bad. Um, all right, Casey, I think that's it. Everybody, that thank is. you for um, joining us for our spoiler review of The Batman. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Um, where you would place this movie with all the other Batman movies. I personally think it's on par with um, The Dark Knight. I, I, there's some people that say it's worse. There's some people that say it's better. I want to hear your thoughts. Sound yeah. off in the comment section. Sound off in the Back in the Podcast fan page. Sound off on our Instagram or Twitter, wherever you can reach us. The underscore Back in Now. This is Akil with A to the C. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. Peace. Peace, everyone.